and now they come in pairs. Ugh. Hey everybody, Casey Transformed here again. Today I have the Evolution set for Bumblebee, a Toys R Us exclusive. Um, what it comes with is the Generations Legends Bumblebee, or as they are being called, our Legends. And a new mold, ironically, for Bumblebee. Um, it's based off his Age of Extinction look. And it's the only one we've seen that looks like this, actually. We haven't seen any of our Delu It's not based off any of our Deluxe. It's definitely not the Octane Bumblebee. It's definitely not the flip and change, so... That's actually kind of interesting. Kind of gives the incentive to get it. Um, most, of the, most of the Evolution sets are repaints, but... This one's actually kind of unique, because, I mean... This one be, um, I think they might have a couple of color differences, maybe. I haven't actually seen the original one. But it kind of just looks like a classic Spoon movie kind of thing. And like I said, this is a new mold. Completely new. I mean, it doesn't even resemble any of the previous deluxe molds from, like, Revenge of the Fallen that they, like, reused a thousand times. So, yeah, that's actually kind of what's cool about it. Um, first size comparison vehicle mode of toy that everybody should probably have some version of. Here's classic Thundercracker, you know, Skywarp, Starscream, whichever version you have, Ask the Storm even. Let's see just about how big they are. Yeah, that gives you a good idea of how big they are. This little guy right here. They all, um, both of them are accessories, like this. Um, Repaint, remold, something like that of a mech tech from Darker the Moon for Legends Bumblebee here, which looks kind of ridiculous. It's kind of also awesome to blast something to smithereens with a gun that's oh, it's actually almost, um, let's see, full extended. Yeah, the gun's actually bigger than he is, or at least longer. It's kind of actually cool. It looks ri ridiculous, really. Kind of still wish he had the helicopter, little helicopter main con, because at least that looked already we would get like the propeller thing, but I don't know. And the Age of Extinction mold comes with these. Um, shurikens, or to me they look more like, uh, chakrams. For anybody who's played Tales of Symphonia and seen Colette, you know what a chakram is, basically. Just these little sh Yeah, somewhere between a chakram and a shuriken, really. They can actually store in vehicle mode, which you see is, on the bottom, they have these tabs. I'm not sure you're going to be able to see it, but see the tabs? You can see they're not centered with this, they're kind of leaning forward slightly. So what you have to kind of do is line up the big tab with this little hole here, and these tiny little holes line up with tiny little tabs. And I, it can go here or here, there's two spaces for both, you know, chakrams. Uh, let's see. This one could be a bit more difficult to get in, but it'll come out looking like that. And see, so you actually lay play flat to the vehicle, they're barely noticeable, I mean, it only sticks out a little bit, even then the feet's already stick down anyway, so. Kind of like the Human Alliance version, actually. But yeah, they, but yeah, there you go. <clears throat> I can't talk today. Die. Die, die, die. Uh, one of the best things about Age of Extinction is no Megan Fox, thank freaking God. I hated Megan Fox, as you can tell from my voice. Oh yeah, and we're going to move on to Transformation. We'll start with... The Legends will be, which is actually a bit more intricate than I expected, especially for Legends. I mean, this is definitely more complex than the Legends that were from, like, say, Legends of Cybertron. What you do, basically peel off the sides. You might say, oh, it already looks like a Legends toy, but no, the transformation is actually pretty complex, because actually untab this here, and this whole piece flips forward. You can see this actually kind of gives him his crotch here. And this actually leaves room for the head and this back plate to move so the head can auto transform out. Bring the feet down, flip these down for his feet, bring these down for his arms. And even these have actually not complex, but complex for a what this size class. I mean, you flip this in and flip it out. Or you can just do like this. There you go. You actually got like a nice. Bulky little bumblebee actually it looks really cool. I, I kind of like this as a classic bumblebee because of his size. Now for the more complex of the two, Age of Extinction bumblebee. And again, it's a new transformation. First off, of course, you have to remove his chakrams. Put this to the side. Um, it might look familiar, but it's actually a lot different than what you would expect. First off, you're going to kind of grab these sides and pull the arms out a little. Next, what you're going to do is pull these down. 
You might notice I have more trouble with this one not talked about. I'll show you that why in a second. You just might see right here, there's a tab on this side, but not on this side. Be warned. I don't know if it's the plastic they used, or maybe I just had bad luck with mine, or I was too rough, but the tab broke off on this side. I mean, it still locks in fine. I mean, just from the shape, it's going to stay in just fine and not move. Especially since there's a tab hole in the tab right here. But just be warned, these tabs break off real easily, especially with how tight they hold on into these peg holes. Um, for the arms, you're going to actually take these pieces, kind of, you can see they kind of come around, and you actually push them, you actually fold them down over, and then the windows fold in. So you can actually, you see it actually kind of makes this as if it makes the transformation a little more complicated. It doesn't look immediately like shoulder, like car kibble, which is kind of cool. It even kind of covers up the wheels a bit, just for a different look. The feet are interesting. We all know this piece. This piece is almost always on the hip with bumblebees. Not in this case. You're going to, what you're going to do is pull this off. See, and it taps from there. Split these. Then you're going to un- you're going to fold these around to what are kind of on the side instead. Even though they're usually hanging off the back of the legs, which they kind of do, but in different way. Again, it's a completely new leg transformation, which is really cool for a deluxe, because as you can see, this, instead of this being on the hip, it's actually on the back of the feet, where they actually fold down into the heels. You can just straighten out the leg. And these, again, these pieces do end up on the back of the leg, but not in the same way. They're not just kibble hanging off like crazy. They're actually kind of folded into the leg, which is really cool. You twist the leg around to reveal, well, the legs. And you might think you're done and all of the rest is kibble form. No, this is where it gets really cool, actually, because this chest piece, it looks like it's just molded in. No, it actually pops out a bit. And you want to take this front hood kind of part, the front bumper, fold it down, fold it into the chest, and place that back over it. It's really cool kibble form because, yeah, you're just transforming kibble, and yeah, this piece kind of flips over the hood as you expect, but it's a new transformation, and it actually tries to hide the kibble, or at least make it part of the robot. I mean, you can say, yeah, it's a lot of chin, because, yeah, you look at the back, look, kibble, 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 but at least it's hidden. It's actually hidden pretty well. And I like that. This is actually a really cool transformation for me, and it's actually really fun to do, except for this tab where it broke. But other than that, I actually really like it. This is really cool. These little tabs here that were originally holding the doors in, you can actually tab in his uh, shock, uh, chalk rooms. And if you actually see some of the promotional art for the movie, you can actually see these on his back, so it kind of makes sense why they're back here. I mean, they look really cool there. Kind of looks like he can reach back and grab his chalk room just you know, just reach back and there we go, that's the transformation for both of them. Oh, let me get, uh, Bumblebee. And there they are in robot mode. Alright, I had to move the camera a bit for a better position of the robot modes. For a size comparison again, here is classic Thundercracker. I'll just do them one at a time. Here he is next to the Generation, um, the little Generations Legends Bumblebee. And here he is next to the Deluxe. And you can see, yeah, about the same size, actually. A little bit taller, I think. Just slightly. Going eye to eye, yeah, he's a little bit taller. Really cool. Just, you know, everybody probably has this version, so it's a good comparison. Um, little Legends Bell over here can hold his big, massive gun, which is really ridiculous. Oh, if I don't drop him. There we go. You know, he can hold it, but his arm just kind of... Oh, no, he'll, but he'll fall forward. And kind of had it on the ground. You do kind of have alternate shoulder transformations for both of them because, I mean, these pieces can move all over the place. I mean, if you just want straight up shoulders, or like this, kind of like a cape, or if you want this, but with like the car cable, kind of like this. Kind of like the uh, Generations Bumblebee that came out with alongside Orion Pax. It's whatever you want to do with it. I prefer just doing it like that. With Bumblebee, the, the, Gener the Little Legends one, though. I actually like taking the shoulders because how the joints work. There's two joints in here. So you can actually have the shoulders splayed out a bit more. And I like that. First off, you get kind of more room for your articulation, and I think it just looks nicer. Kind of gives them more of a shoulder blade thing. Of course, it's gun because of the how it's on the car can store on his back, but it makes it extremely back heavy. I mean, he becomes a hunchback and just kind of falls over, so yeah, screw that gun. 
kind of wish they gave him like a little pistol or something. I mean, it would really be a tiny accessory, but it would work. Oh, uh, speaking of guns, this guy has a lot. Or not a lot of guns, but a lot of weapons. First off, you remember how every Bumblebee, all of them try to handle the arm cannon thing? This one, I think it's done it the best from what I've seen without customizing. You take the hand, and you just push it in, and you can see it starts flipping around, and there's his cannon. That's really cool. I wish they did that with all the earlier Bumblebees. I would have loved them then. Yeah, from the side you can see his hand, but who cares? It's the best one we got so far. And it just looks cool. Oh, and of course you can take one of his chakrams. Let me just kind of have to pull the kibble away. And, oh, yeah, those are tight in there. And basically, you're just supposed to use the peg and just have them... Yeah. It looks kind of dumb, especially if you know how a chakram is supposed to be held. But, I'm wondering if they did this on purpose, because it's really thin around the sides here, and his hand is kind of open. So you can actually push it into his hand, and yeah, it's loose, it's not going to hold in a certain position, but... Well, if you fold the window back in, it can kind of hold it, and then... You can kind of make it look like he's holding it, about, or about to throw it. Which is really cool, which is kind of makes me wonder if they did that on purpose. For posing, or even just for play value. I don't know. One more thing you can do for his fighting mode is he has a battle mask. Yes, on a deluxe. What you do is grab his top of his head here. It's not as cool as his original, but it's still it's a battle mask from the Age of Extinction movie at least. You take this, you can kind of pull it forward as you can see, and you fold it down. Basically, it just covers his eyes and protects his eyes. Oh, what's cool is you can actually see a tiny little silver cup splinter there. If you can look really close, you can actually see that little dab of yellow in the middle of his head. That's a, a t that's an Autobot symbol tampoed on his head. At this size. That's just amazing. Personally, I don't care for the battle helmet, but I do like that at least included it in. And yeah, with how his how his mouth is, it does look like a battle mask. It looks all armored up. It's just, I kind of wish you put little slits in here or something for eyes, because otherwise it looks like he's blind. Well, there are slits, but I kind of wish they painted them a bit more, you know. Otherwise, again, he kind of just looks like he's blind. Well, you can see on the side there, where the helmet was pushed down, there's silver details in there. Kind of cool, especially on something this small. It's kind of something like a third party would do. But yeah, that's about it, actually. Um, all that we have left to do is cover articulation, I believe. Shoulders. Um, go outward and inward, as well as swiveling. Elbow. Just 90 degree elbow, no swivel here, which kind of stinks. Hands don't do anything other than the, you know, the flip gimmick, which is still one of my favorite things. Um, no waist. Legs go back and forth. With, I mean, they're not going to shake around. There's a plastic ratchet right here. I'm not sure you can hear it, but... The knee's also really stiff, even though it's just a hinge. I mean, if you've seen Rhinox's knees, you know what you can worry about. And because of transformation, he does have two hinges to use for his ankles, which do allow for some poses. Which is really nice. I mean, you can actually get some really cool poses out because of those because of those hinges. Uh, Bumble oh, I keep knocking crap over. Not that he's crap, but Legends Bumblebee. Um, no head. Oh, oh well. Shoulders. I mean, basic shoulder articulation. You know. Outward and inward. It's actually quite a bit considering it's a legend. Ball joint. These legends are getting better. So yeah, ball joint at the arm. So he actually has a swivel, unlike, you know, him here. Ball joint at the leg. And hinged knee, although it doesn't do much. I mean, there's straight leg, there's bent knee. But it's just enough that you can get a couple of poses. I mean, and then actually, you do get a little bit of ankle. Because it does go back a little bit when it's supposed to be about here. So you can actually get a little bit of a stepping motion too. Kind of just mimicking him there. But yeah, you can get that done too. All in all, this is a really cool set. I actually recommend it more than the Grimlock set. Mostly because you get, well, Little Legends Bumblebee, who's really cool, even though his gun's really stupid. The gun itself's not stupid, it's just stupid for his size. And you get a unique Bumblebee. One you can only get in this set, and he's a really cool Bumblebee, especially if you like some of the Age of Extinction designs, which I loved Bumblebee's design. 
anyway, this has been Casey Transformed. I hope you enjoyed my review. I hope it helped you decide if you wanted this set. And I am out of here. I am out of here. Oh.